Uh, had a good correction day today. Uh, we watched the film, corrected. I think our guys saw a lot of things they can improve on. And then uh, spent a lot of time on kicking today. Spent a lot of time on kicking game, on every phase of it. And uh, this is where a lot of our young people can make, make the ball club. And uh, we've been putting a lot of emphasis on that. So it was a good, good scrimmage. Got a lot of scrimmage plays in, especially for our young guys. And uh, it, it's fun to see who, who, who's ready to compete. Who wants to get in there and roll up her sleeves and compete a little bit? And uh, overall, was really, really proud of everything. We just got a long way to go. Who is ready to compete? Uh, DT Shackelford is one. Uh, Joel Kite, Tim Simon, Patrick Patterson. Uh, you know, Bobby Massey, the Raymond Cottons, Emmanuel McCray, all those guys were competing. It's just things were moving too fast. And they got a harder job to know all the protections and blocking schemes. That's hard in the offensive line. Evaluation of the scrimmage yesterday from an offensive standpoint. Too many legal procedures, had a couple of uh, center quarterback exchange issues, you know, those types of things. That, that, those are things that just beat yourself. You gotta, you gotta eliminate that this week. Um, we did some good things, especially we got in the scoring territory. That's where we started to play a little bit better. Had a touchdown call back, you know, we were flanched up front. So, you know, we, we just can't, we're not good enough right now to, to do those types of things and, and be a good, good defense. Are any of those young running backs beginning to separate themselves in terms of pass blocking and picking up protection schemes? Um, yeah, that's that's always that's always kind of the last thing to come around mm -hmm. because you, know, you can get some complicated fronts and stunts and, and they have to sort all, all through all that. And uh, uh, I think they're all about where we would we would think that they would be. Uh, obviously, some things are going to come quicker for for some players than others. Uh, and also, some areas are going to come quicker than others. Sure. Some backs are better are better at you know protection sooner, but some are better at seeing the blocks better in the run game. So, uh, right now, you know, I, I think they're on pace. I don't want to. I, don't, I wouldn't want to want to rank them at this point. And we only had a week of camp. Sure. Um, some guys that stood out. You know, I mentioned yesterday DT Shackleford. I was really excited about him. He flew around. He made some plays. Uh, Gerald Rivers. Gerald Rivers uh, is a guy that's starting to begin to come into his own. Uh, this week could be a big challenge to see how these guys continue to improve and separate themselves. And uh, probably out of secondary, I like Tig Barksdale. He came up, supported the run, made a couple of big hits. And of course, he missed some tackles as well, but he's shown the uh, ability to be a big time run support safety. On Shackelford, is he kind of getting himself into a spot where he's second team right now? Is he ahead of well, Jason? You know, right now, I, I consider uh, him playing a little faster than Jason, but Jason still has the mental edge, and uh, we're going to rep him in. Actually, I've been repping both of those guys with the twos off and on. And, you know, it's an ongoing battle there who will back up Jonathan Cornell, so it's a competitive situation there.